Hi everyone, this is Swamp Rabbit, and today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough guide for the Echo Friendly Odyssey medium level. And just checking out these maps really quickly, we've got a medium standard, medium magic monkey only, a medium standard, and magic monkey only. So uh, with magic monkey only, the best hero, of course, to take is going to be your open hero. Uh, I've changed the crew already. Uh, what I'm going to take with me is two dart monkeys, two cannons, two ice monkeys, two wizards, two ninjas, three alchemists, six druids, and one village. The powers, I don't ever use powers, so take whatever you want on those and use them as you need to. So let's get started. Okay, for tree stump, well, I can afford my open, so I'll go ahead and start with open. First thing I'll add is a ninja so we can get some camo coverage. And I'll upgrade my ninja. This will end up being a 402 ninja. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that. I'll go ahead and use my little briar ability from Oban every time it's available. I don't use it as part of an official strategy, but whenever I'm actually playing, I do use it just because it gives you that little extra that you may need if there's some kind of randomness that goes on. Okay, with my ninja upgraded, I'll go ahead and throw the alchemist on there. And this alchemist, I will upgrade this one to 420.
I have seen people make videos saying that perishing potions, the second upgrade on the second path for an alchemist, is not worth it, that it doesn't do anything. But in my experience, it can make the difference between busting open a Moab and not, which is I mean, kind of what its description says, is that it helps against the Moab class. So I always uh, upgrade the 420 if it's only going to be on one monkey. Now, at further along in this, it will be hitting more monkeys, but for round 40, it's just going to be on that one monkey. So I want to go ahead and have it at the 420. Okay, with my Ninja Alchemist combo all set, I'll go ahead and start adding some Druids. I want to make sure, I'm not sure, I might be able to fit two on the straight path. I'll see how many I can fit here. And I'm going to upgrade them, this one, two, or zero, two, four. But right now I'll just do zero, two, three until I get the other Druids placed. See if one will fit in this corner. Wait, I think there was a tiny spot. Where did it go? There, there it is. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'll upgrade this one to two or zero, two, three for now as well. Now, these two are going to be the only ones that I give the Heart of Oak to. They're the first ones that encounter the blooms, and that should be enough to convert any regrows into regular blooms. And then I'm going to add my other druids, upgrading them zero, one, three. These may be too far apart to get the full druid buff, but that's okay. This is only going to round 65. It, it, it will be fine this way. Okay, once I've got all my druids upgraded to Druid of Wrath, I'm going to upgrade all of them to give them Pop Lust. Alright, all of my druids have hop lust. So now I'm going to place a village on as many of them as will reach. Okay, so I'll put a link right here. And give it the bigger radius and hopefully they'll get open as well. Good, open is in this range, that's perfect. I'll give it jungle drums and then I'll give them camo. Just one druid. Yeah, just this one little druid here is missed by the village, so that's a pretty good, pretty good result. I'm going to set opens. Um, 
Kraken ability or its tree ability to where it's right by this village. That way it's out of range of this initial track so none of the big moabs will get stuck on it. But And it also allows the druids to do like their work before you know, it gives it gives this little group of druids and the ninja all the time in the world to handle the balloons, and then it's only like a last minute backup. I'm going to upgrade my village and give it Monkey Intelligence Bureau. What that's going to do is also allow these to pop lead. So now this whole group of ninja can do lead and camo. I really have no idea what to spend my money on now. Uh, this is more than enough to finish the map. But we have money, so we should spend it on something. Let's see. Let's spend it on... Let's buy a couple of ices. Ice monkeys are great for slowing down ceramics. Um, so two, zero... Four. and I, I do the two on the top instead of the middle so that it can also stop the lead and camo. I know a lot of people don't do it that way but that's just my preference. And my poor little ice monkeys didn't even get a chance to shoot anything. Hmm, that's okay. It's just extra money to spend. continue to end the loop map. And I think that this was one of the magic monkey ones. Right, only magic monkeys, not a problem. We'll start with our open. First thing I'll do is set up a ninja. And then we'll upgrade the ninja to 402. That should be able to handle all of the camos from here through round 60. Again, I'm using my briars just whenever it's available. It you shouldn't need it, but it's there. You might as well click it.
I'll add an alchemist to the ninja. And I'll upgrade it to Alright, uh, next I am going to buy a wizard. I'm going to place it in this corner here, opposite the chat, and I'm going to upgrade it to 0, 3, 2. That dragon's breath is just so powerful. Um, now I'm going to start adding some druids to my little army here. I'll just go ahead and line them up. Three, four, five. Oh, that one's a little bit out of open's range, so I'll bring it over here. So I want to make sure that, that all of them have the little open symbol above their heads, and I'm going to upgrade them. Zero, one, three for each of them. Then I'll go back and give all of them pop lust.
Okay, with all the Druids having pop lust, I'm going to take two of these front ones. I'll pick this one that's right above open. I'll give it Heart of Oak. And this one over here, I'll give Heart of Oak. That way, anything that's regrow will be converted to regular. Okay, I'll now take a couple of more Alchemists. For these Alchemists, I'm going to upgrade them for zero, one. I want these to be faster throwing because they're covering so many monkeys. And this will help ensure that each of these druids has a buff on it like all the time. Oh, and I'll, I will actually go ahead and set my opens tree right here at the exit just in case something gets by <laughs> I don't think it will but in case something gets by we'll have this little crack in here to block it and then we'll have enough to upgrade that perfect and now we move on to the locks map logs is a standard map so we will start, we have more options with our monkeys. Start here with my open. I think that that's a good corner for him. Okay. Uh, Next, I should go a little different route this way. I'm going to start with the wizard. I put it on this caddy corner. It's still in Oban's range. And I want to upgrade it to 0, 3, 2. Okay, I'm going to do 0, 1, 2 for right now and then I am going to add a ninja because I don't think either one of these can see the purples and so we'll need something to, to hit the purples first. So after that I'm going to go ahead and place a ninja. Okay, I'm going to place the, the ninjas just on this little corner, still within the open range. I'll upgrade this ninja just a little bit. I'll upgrade it to 201 for right now. Then I'm going to go back and upgrade my wizard some more. Upgrade it to 0, 2, 2, and then 0, 3, 2.
I'm going to upgrade the ninja some more. I'll make it 302 and then 402. Next, I'm going to actually place my village. Let's see, I want to make sure that it covers that entire island. it over in this corner and then give it the extended range. I'll go ahead and give it camo as well. Then I'm going to start placing my druids. I'm not sure if I'll be able to fit all six on here. probably could have fit one more on there but instead I'm just gonna drop those two up here now we'll go ahead and upgrade the four that are near open I'm gonna upgrade them zero one four If you place open where I have my ninja, you'll have more room to put druids behind him. So I should have thought that out, pre-planned that a little bit better. I don't normally use druids on this map, so this is a different strategy for me normally. Okay, this one is getting all four. Okay, this one here is only getting three buffs. So the one that's getting four, I'll upgrade it to zero one four because that means it can reach the others and it'll they'll get the buff from it. Okay, for this one that's out of range and is only getting buff from four and not from five, I'm going to give it a two zero four upgrade instead. plays these odysseys from hard to easy. I don't know why. <laughs> so some of these maps I've sort of um, encountered before, but they, but like this one was primary only last time. I think. Or maybe that was in the loop was primary only. But it definitely um, 
was different as far as what you can put. I'm going to set my oven tree to like right here. That's as far down the path as it can go. And the next thing I'll do, I'll go ahead and get uh, jungle drums. I forgot I didn't have jungle drums. And then I'll get monkey intelligence burrow on my village. So that allows all of these to see lead and camo. And then I'll start adding some alchemist. I'll place one up here. And I'm going to upgrade it for zero 02. Or 401 for now. And then I'll add another alchemist. Let's see, I'll put it here. I want to get as many of the druids in with each of these alchemists as I can. And it'll be upgraded to 401. And I'll add a third alchemist on this little island here. Also 401. And on to map number four, Spring Spring. Okay, this is a magic only map on medium level. So, let's see. I will start with my oven right here at the entrance. I don't know if Oban is going to be able to handle everything by himself, but we've got 125 lives. So if we lose a few, it's okay. All right, I do have some money. I'm going to go ahead and buy a wizard to place here at the tail end of this main island. And I want to upgrade this to Intense Magic first. Then Fireball. Then I'll give it monkey sense. I'm going to go ahead and give it wall of fire. I'm not sure. Ideally, I could make the wall of fire be right here where these paths converge, but it'll probably be on one side or the other. I'm not very good at making it perfectly in the center there. Oh, God. 
A little bit on the side. That's okay, though. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add a ninja by my oven. Well, as soon as I have the money, I will add him there. It's right there. Now, on this map, the, the, well, the first Moab is going to go to the top, but then they start splitting. Some go to the top and some go to the bottom. So I want to make this ninja... Instead of 402, I want to make it 204 so that the ninja will put a sticky bomb on each of the Moabs. I did lose a couple there. But I've got I've got to get my ninja upgraded before round 40. So we'll just have to tolerate a few losses on that round. Okay, I'll give it flash bomb, flash bomb on my ninja. That's going to help slow some of these down. And then I need to save up 4,500 for my sticky bomb. Oh, this is a lot coming at this wizard. He did a marvelous job. <laughs> All right, I've got my ninja at Sticky Bomb, so I can start uh, helping this wizard at the end out some. I'm going to drop a, a ninja right there. And I'm going to upgrade this, give it a wider range. And then I'll give it Sharp Shurikens. I'll go ahead and upgrade this one to a 402. watch this video and then play your game you're gonna have actually enough money to to add this ninja at the tail end next to the wizard before you do the sticky bomb ninja and you could upgrade it to a three zero two at the tail end and that's gonna help go ahead and get this blue jutsu help out a lot all right uh, now I'm gonna start adding some 
druids. Actually, let me put. I'm gonna put a wizard here first, just for placement, and then I'm gonna add some druids. Let me slow this down. <laughs> Uh, the druids, I'm going to give them extended range and thorn swarm. So zero one one right now. Uh, once all of these have, all the druids are at zero one one. I want to give them some camo ability, so I'm going to give this wizard shimmer, which is going to re start uh, revealing camo, which makes the druids able to hit them. I'll make it zero two three. Now I'll upgrade my druids to zero one three each. I'm going to give the ones closest to the track, both of those, one on each side, the Heart of Oak for the regrows. And then I'm going to give them all Pop Lust. For my open tree, I'm going to place it on the top side because more of the Moabs go that direction. Okay, all my druids have pop lust, so now I'm going to give this wizard a little better coverage. I'm going to go ahead and make it a necromancer. Go ahead and refresh that Kraken because I knew a lot of Blinds hit it. And with the rest of the money, I'll go ahead and add a Wizard 301. And then I'll add another 301. Well, we're out of time. Now, if you um, look at this one, I'm not going to replay it, but if I was to replay it, and when you play it, you could do this map without any losses. You would just want to... I chose to use this monkey first. I upgraded this one to 204 all the way. If instead you do this at a 202 for that ninja, and then add this end ninja at 302, then go back and upgrade this one to 204, you'll have enough money to do that by round 40. And this ninja at the end will be able to help stop 
all the, the six balloons that I lost during this game. So if you do it that way, make that, make that slight change, you can play this map with zero losses. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.